DJ Quick has been swatting the Biggie death rumors for over 20 years. DJ Quick was dragged back into a discussion on who's responsible for the 1997 murder of the notorious B.I.G. after Keith D. suggested he had something to do with it. Speaking to The Art of Dialogue this week, the uncle of Tupac's alleged killer Orlando Anderson reflected on the vibe party that preceded Biggie's death and pointed the finger at both DJ Quick and former Real 92.3 radio personality DJ Theo. On Tuesday, November 2nd, Hip Hop DX shared a post about the story to Instagram, and DJ Quick hopped in the comments section with, I'm feeling real litigious right now, suggesting he was plotting legal action. The following day, Quick shared a screenshot of an article about his intent to sue and wrote, My brand ain't a toy. But the comments section is where things got interesting. Veteran Jurassic 5 MC Akil quickly came to Quick's defense and revealed he was there that fateful night. I defended you from day one. Akil said, I was there. I watched you hop in your limo on that side street right after the shooting. You didn't have nothing to do with it. Again, I was there the next day your name came up, and I always defended your name. But of course, DJ Quick has been defending himself for over 20 years. On the 1998 single, You're a Gangsta, Quick addresses the rumors he had something to do with Biggie's murder in the last verse with, but motherfuckers still see me as a scapegoat. Yeah, like that night when Biggie died at Quincy Jones' spot. Like 400 other people, yeah, I heard some shots. Broke away with the crowd nervous, obviously. And the motherfuckers blamed it on me. What the hell? But Keith D is painting a different picture. During his interview, he explained he was at the same vibe party when he noticed Death Row Records artist Jewel at the party. Some believed she had connections to the murder, but Keith D isn't convinced. I don't think Jewel would do that, he said, be myself. I think Theo and them did it, the DJ dude. That's who I think did it. M. Quick. That's what I think. I just think the setup went down in that type of way. But I don't think Homebrew did it cause Puff told me that they was there to sign with his label. I seen the dog pound dudes, they used to come to his events. And that's a cold mixture that Suge Knight had going down. He was a blood and all his artists was all crips. That's a trip. That was a hell of a mixture. While DJ Quick seems intent on taking legal action against Keith D., Longtime music manager WAC100 has advised him to back off. Don't, he wrote in the DX Instagram comment section. He's playing dumb trying to clean up what he really said about himself. This is a attempt to show what he says isn't credible so his words can't be used against him. Biggie was fatally shot around midnight local time on March 9, 1997, and his murder remains unsolved. Watch Keith D's original comment. You know, I don't, that's what, that's the streets be saying. But uh, I don't think Joel would do that. You know what I'm saying? Me, myself, I think Theo and them did him. Theo, the DJ uh, dude, uh, he was at, uh, what's his name? That's who I think uh, done him. My true opinion. Him and Quick. That's, that's, that's who I think did. So you think DJ Quick has something to do with Biggie getting killed? I just think the, the setup went down. In, in 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 that type of way, I don't know, I don't know, but I don't think Homegirl did it, cause uh, Puff told me that they was there to uh, to sign with his label, mm. but it, it was a few people going uh, like I seen uh, the Dog Pound dudes, they used to come to his events, still come to his events, you know what I'm saying? So, but you know that's and, and that's a cold mixture that Shug had going down, he he was a blood. And all his artists was...